Rebel Wilson made a name for herself in Hollywood as the funny fat girl. Despite this, the body positivity activist was regularly mocked for her weight. And even though she's slimmed down dramatically, Rebel still can't escape criticism. In 2020, Rebel announced a year of health, complete with plans to lose weight. Fans supported her and praised her decision. However, Rebel's own team was against her transformation. I got a lot of pushback from my own team, actually, here in Hollywood. Rather than supporting the actress's decision to get healthy, they had other concerns. They were worried about what it might mean for her career. And they were like, why? Why would you want to do that? Because I was earning millions of dollars being, you know, the funny fat girl. It didn't stop Rebel. The actress was determined to make the change and improve her life. For years, she felt insecure because of her size. She revealed that the pressures of fame fueled a destructive habit. Because I'm not a natural performer, my natural personality was very introverted. The way I dealt with that pressure was to eat. I would reward myself with a block of chocolate. Eventually, the constant criticisms Rebel faced because of her weight started to take a toll on her self-image and mental health. I know what it's like to be a woman who is essentially invisible to most people because of um, not being seen as traditionally like beautiful or whatever. Her publicists weren't the only ones concerned about the actress's planned transformation. There were some people that said, oh, well, will she not be funny now? And I'm like, well, check out my new movie. Once she started shedding the pounds, the media became obsessed with her body. The tabloids didn't care about her career. Her new look was all they could talk about. And like the attention that gets, it was insane. Is way more I than think... being in an Academy Award nominated film and like um, producing my first movie. The fixation on Rebel's body wasn't limited to the media. As her team feared, the change affected her career, but not in the way they imagined. The actress opened up about how her weight loss helped her to land her first ever dramatic role. You get like this bias towards you just purely because of your, your appearance, which is wrong. Like, I do think it's wrong. Rebel added that she doubts she would have been cast in dramatic roles when she was bigger because Hollywood has stereotypes about larger actresses. Her haters call it a publicity stunt, but the Aussie native isn't losing weight for more attention. I did not lose weight just for a guy, as if. I did it to get more acting roles. Professional success is important to Rebel because her acting career almost didn't happen. Wilson never planned to be a star. She got the idea while working in Africa as an Australian youth ambassador. Her family wasn't happy with her choice. They worried she'd be throwing away her talents. Before moving to Hollywood, Rebel was a top scholar who studied law at a prestigious university. I was a professional actress. I'd been in 10 TV shows by the time I graduated law school. But there was something about me that I was like, I have to finish, I have to complete this degree. After graduating, Rebel was nearly 30 years old. She decided to leave for Hollywood right away before it was too late to break into the international film industry. I came to America with one suitcase and like one little pillow. <laughs> Rebel was always cast as comic relief or supporting roles. Initially, the actress didn't mind because insecurities about her weight made the idea of other roles too intimidating. There was some statistic. Leading ladies are less than 1% plus-sized actresses. That's why I went into comedy acting. People are more likely to laugh at people they don't want to have sex with. Just as she was getting comfortable in Hollywood, disaster struck. Wilson got caught up in a huge defamation case and needed her lawyer skills to defend herself. In 2015, Australia's Women's Day magazine called the actress a liar and a hypocrite. The publication revealed that Rebel hadn't been honest about her real age or name, which she legally changed in 2002. They accused the Australian star of being a serial liar. The drama got so heated it started to hurt Wilson's career. Rebel claimed she was fired from two different roles because of all that negative press. So she took the tabloid to court for defamation and won. Wilson explained, Tabloid magazines don't abide by professional ethics. I felt like I had to take a stand against a bully. The reason I'm here is to clear my name. I look forward to rebuilding my career. Since her legal victory, Rebel's been able to focus on what really matters again, her happiness because the star realized that something is missing from her life. The very thing that inspired her year of health in the first place, her desire to be a mom. The doctor was like, well, you'd have a much better chance if you were healthier. It wasn't even really myself. It was more thinking of a future mini-me, really. But this is still a challenge for the actress, because she suffers from PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. 
It affects her ability to have babies, so she needed to start considering her options. So I was thinking about fertility and having good quality eggs in the bank. Rebel's been open about her fertility issues on social media and hopes that one day she'll be able to have a child of her own. It could be great if I had my own children, but I don't know whether that's going to happen. In the meantime, she's putting herself first. Rebel is finally comfortable in her own skin, and she's not apologizing. She's proof that self-love and self-respect are more valuable than any paycheck.